What's going on, people? I'm going to try not to be before you too long. I want to deal with two topics today. I want to deal with Elon Musk buying Twitter and how they're using black people as a guinea pig, turning black people against Elon Musk like they turn black people against Donald Trump. I also want to briefly speak on the rescue plan, and I have some questions for those of you that was concerned about me not speaking on the rescue plan. But before I get started, I would like for you to subscribe to my other YouTube channel that's titled Magnificent Minister. That was also known as my dream channel. Now, I just uploaded a video to that channel and I invite you to go there and check out the videos on that channel, Magnificent Minister. I'm going to put the link in the description box and also in the comment section. And I invite you to go there and subscribe. Black men in America is under attack and that's nothing new. While black females are being propped up in the courts. And I solely believe because of the fact that black females are loyal to white men. Black females are loyal to white men and the Democrat Party. There's a lot of black men that walked away from the Democrat plantation. And it's interesting because black people have always talked about reparations and how the descendants of slaves should be, or better yet, is old reparations, but yet the government, primarily the Democrat Party, has been ignoring the cries of black Americans, but yet will turn to black Americans to promote an agenda for them. And black people get nothing in return but induced anger. The Democrat Party and the media use racism as a weapon to get black people to react, to promote their wicked and evil agenda, but yet black people are constantly ignored and get nothing in return but induce anger and a bunch of empty promises. Just like the case with Elon Musk. I read an article where the question was asked, what does it mean for black Twitter? In other words, they're saying that Elon Musk want free speech so that white people are able to use the N-word on Twitter. So they quickly turn that into a racist thing. So Elon Musk couldn't buy Twitter because he was fighting for free speech. And we know that many of our channels have been deleted and canceled because we voiced our opinions on certain things that the media did not like and our channels or pages were suspended or removed. But Elon Musk is fighting against that. And now black people are being programmed as attack dogs to attack Elon Musk. And you have employees of Tesla now filing lawsuits against Elon Musk regarding racism. So black people need to stop being used as guinea pigs. I just read an article earlier today where the Biden administration is now propping up the Jews and talking about giving Jews more reparations right in the face of black people. And if you look at these, these nominees for the courts, 
They're all black females except for one that looks like she's India. So they're propping up all of these black females to say that this is what we're doing for black women. While black men are being charged like Bill Cosby. Like R. Kelly. Like Mike Tyson that defended himself and now... He's possibly facing lawsuits for defending himself from being harassed and attacked on an airplane. But Elon Musk bought Twitter. Now they're questioning what does it mean for black Twitter? Why are they so concerned about black Twitter? When black people don't have a voice or the only voice black people have is anger when they're using the voice of black people, a few politicians, a few black faces that's put on the forefront, using their faces to promote their agenda. And these few black people are being paid for that. They're being rewarded for that while the rest of the black community is struggling on the bottom. Watching illegal immigrants run across the border, being fed, being housed, while many black people are on waiting lists to find an apartment that's paying eight and nine hundred up to over a thousand for an apartment that they can't even afford. But the illegal immigrants are able to come here, be housed, be fed. And when you go in places like BJ's and Sam's Club and Walmart, they have grocery carts that's full to the top, more than taxpaying Americans. So why is it that illegal immigrants are able to come here and live better than the so-called taxpayers? American-born taxpayers. But yet, we have to be vaccinated. We have to wear a mask. We will lose our jobs if we're not vaccinated. Look at all the punishment that's coming down on American citizens, American tax-paying citizens. And Biden is spending money that's not even his to spend. And the average American's don't have a voice. They did a poll that says that the majority of black people support Joe Biden and feel that Joe Biden is doing an excellent job. Who are these black people? And then the thought came to me, maybe these black people are the Africans that came to this country. Maybe they are the ones that took these polls or these polls were were designed to make it appear that black people supported Joe Biden when in reality we don't. So who were the ones that they were polling? Was it the African migrants to come here? Were they the ones that was told to say that they support Biden just so that they can become citizens. So black people, you have to stop being used as a guinea pig. Stop being angry. Stop biting the fruit from that tree that's going to destroy you and your children. You're already on the bottom. Everyone else is being rewarded but you. You're being ignored, but yet you're still remaining loyal to the Democrat Party. Enough of Elon Musk. I want to briefly talk about that so-called rescue plan that someone that subscribes to me asked me about that I never really speak on the rescue plan. My question is, Why do we need to be rescued when we pay taxes? Why should American-born citizens 
that pay taxes, why do we need to be rescued? Don't get caught up in fancy and good sounding words, rescue plan. Because if you look at the last so-called rescue plan and these stimulus checks, Americans had to pay that back when you filed your taxes. They took it back. And not only that, you're paying high prices for food, for gas. Now, the gases came down just a little bit, but it's still high. You're paying more money than you should have to. So you're paying for the debts that the Biden administration, the Democrats are creating. And in my humble opinion, much of that money or most of that money is unaccounted for and it's being and it's being pocketed by them. And you don't realize that. Just look at Black Lives Matter. None of you gotten anything out of Black Lives Matter that was supposed to have been for black people, the black community, but yet they're buying mansions. They're rewarded. That Abram female in Georgia, she's rewarded for getting the Democrats in office because they catered to the anger of black people that refused to do for themselves that is still looking for government handouts. So my question regarding the rescue plan is who need to be rescued? Because the only people I see that's being rescued by the government, by the Biden administration and the Democrats are the illegal immigrants and the criminals. Because while they're releasing criminals from the jails and from the prisons and they're committing mischief and being let back out on the street, they're trying to strip your Second Amendment from you. And many of you are so naive, you're willing, willing to give it up. Now you have no means to protect and defend yourself and your family. And now criminals are walking right into your house. They're a threat to you. But if you defend yourself, now you become a criminal. But yet you allow that to take place and you still support the people that's destroying you. So who needs to be rescued? Why should Americans need to be rescued when we pay taxes? And all that money is supposedly set aside for the benefit of Americans. But yet, the bulk of that is going overseas. It's going overseas. And Biden is spending money like it's going out of style. Just giving it away. But not giving it to Americans. So why do... We need to be rescued or who needs to be rescued? Why do Americans, American taxpayers need to be rescued and from who or what? We need to be rescued from Joe Biden and the Democrat Party. And when it comes to that next election, the The cheat is already in. They're already working on cheating for the next election. They're preparing their next voting base, which are the illegal immigrants that they are putting in Republican states. They're right now working on stealing the election with bogus votes, not from Americans but from illegal immigrants that they are funding and shipping from state to state, free of charge, just letting them go. And that's why they don't want voter ID. The Democrats do not want voters ID because without those voter IDs, anybody can vote. 
Your fish can vote. Your dog or your cat can vote. Your dead relative can vote. The dead illegal immigrant that might have died at the border can vote. So anybody can vote with no voter ID. So more money is being sent overseas and for illegal immigrants than taxpayers. So who needs to be rescued with this so-called rescue plan? And if you say Americans, why do Americans need to be rescued when we are the taxpayers? When that's our money that's being sent overseas. So that's my thought on the so-called rescue plan. I pay no attention to it because I know it's all a part of the Democrat and Joe Biden agenda. This is something that they are allowing to take place. No one is stopping this heist. The, the biggest heist in American history. Right now, and I spoke on this in the past, of this heist that's taking place in America. America now is at its weakest. Why is American funding this war over in the Ukraine? Why are they sending millions and billions and trillions of dollars and weaponry over to the Ukraine when the Ukrainian is not even a member of the UN but they're helping to fight Russia putting Americans at risk of a nuclear strike if Putin is serious it could be just a threat to keep you at bay but if it's not just a threat Joe Biden is putting America at risk. Only God above knows what comes over that border. Many of Americans' enemy, enemies have crossed that border and are just sitting there waiting, inactivated terror cells. They're sleeping terror cells waiting to react that crossed over the border illegally. So who needs to be rescued with this rescue plan? And if you say Americans, why do Americans need to be rescued when Americans are the taxpayers? Funds should be available for Americans. Americans should not be on a waiting list and immigrants have priority over taxpayers. But until Americans rise up, until black people wake up and fight, because I'm going to tell you something, not every white person is a racist. Racism now is only being used as a weapon against political opponents. And that's the only time that they call upon black people and put black people on the forefront is when they want to promote that agenda that everybody is a racist. And black people get upset they take to social media. They come against Donald Trump. They come against Elon Musk. Whereas before, these men were faultless. They were cool. So now that they're going against that political agenda of the Democrats, now the media makes them the enemy. Just like the media made the police the enemy. Like the little boy that stole the chips. That shouldn't even be in the media. But it took one loud mouth black dude that didn't know what was going on. Hey, what you doing with that boy? Why you mess with that boy? And somebody's recording and now it went viral. 
And now the police is at fault for taking a boy home to his mom's that had a history and his mom's got a history. And when they talk to talk to the father, the father act as if, oh, well, the moms don't care. The mother's sick. This is what the father was saying. So this boy is basically raising himself. But it's the police fault that they're doing their job. You expect the police to raise your child that you lay down and made. But I didn't mean to get on that. But again, check out my channel, Magnificent Minister. I'm going to put the link on the bottom in the description and in the comment section. Go there and subscribe. Check out the new video I just uploaded. So feedback, tell me what you think. Till next time. I'm fearless.